This video demonstrates how to measure slope by using an inclinometer and a leveling rod with teams of two. You will need an inclinometer, a staff for a rod such as a leveling rod, and colored adhesive tape or self-sticking colored dots. This is an example of an inclinometer and compass combination. It consists of a housing handle, an incline wheel with a scale printed on it, and it has a viewer, but it does not have a see-through port or scope. The inclinometer works when it is held vertical to the ground and rotated up or down. When looking through the viewer, a scale will be seen. On flat ground, the slope will be near zero. As the slope increases, looking uphill, the numbers would be positive. And if you were to look at the slope going downhill, those numbers would be negative. So with our inclinometer, we will be able to look with both eyes open and this hairline here, we will see it over this point there, which is our aiming point. So we look and we will see this mark with the line over it. By keeping both eyes open, one eye is looking at the inclinometer and the other eye is looking at the rod with the mark on it. Your brain then combines these two images so that the hairline is superimposed over the stadia rod. It's an optical illusion. Using a sticker or a piece of brightly colored tape, mark the observer's eye height on the rod. The bottom of the observer's boots must be at the same level relative to the stream surface as the bottom of the stadia rod. To measure the slope, the observer uses the inclinometer and places the hairline over the eye height marker and then reads out loud to the data recorder either a degree or percent slope. Prior to conducting your field work, practice. On flat, even ground, you'll find out that it's very difficult to use this method on terrain of 2% or less slope. Practicing on a very pronounced slope, though, makes learning this method very easy.